So I'm going to look at the mechanism for drawing uh, kappa curves. And the first mechanism I'm going to use for that um, involves a, a particular transformer, which takes um, basically a two degree of freedom mechanism, which takes um, a particular input and uh, modifies it. And depending on what income input you put, um, you get a different modified curve. And um, we're going to look at uh, uh, input being a circle or an ellipse. Um, so let's take a look at this um, in using GX Web. So um, the the particular um, transformation mechanism is, is simply a right angle triangle pivoting at this at the point, which will stick at the origin, but with sliders such that the side lengths of this right angle triangle are not um, determined. So, sorry, um, let me put the right angle in. And let me specify the location of B. Now we'll just call that X, Y. And so now then the transformer consists of um, a line which is constrained to be vertical. So a, a vertical beam or bar uh, in between B and C. Um, but uh, the sliders it's, um, all over the place here, which mean that the lengths of these sides are not fixed. Uh, so let's just see what that looks like. Oh, oh, X is free to move. I'll make Y free to move so I can drag B and we can see uh, uh, we're getting uh, motion like that as we move around. Um, so what is what are the coordinates of C? So we see they are x and minus x squared over y. So if we put in a particular curve here, so that the curve satisfies, let's say, f of x, y equals zero, then um, uh, we're going to get uh, an output there, which is a, a transformed curve, um, a transformed, uh, such as going to be f of this being zero. Okay, well, what what sort of what sort of uh, curve could we put in? Well, one way of do one mechanism would be to make B follow a circle. So let's get rid of that and let's just specify the length of A B fix length A, and we can uh, drive the mechanism by uh, specifying the angle from A to B to B to theta. And so now. A is going to go around and B, C is going to uh, trace some curve, which we can look at. Yeah, so let's create that curve as theta varies. Uh, and here we get the kappa curve. Um, let's see what this equation is. Um, so think of that equation, the, the equation of uh, the B follows um, is going to look like, uh, let's just draw that, it's of course a circle. And let's have a look at that equation. X squared plus Y squared minus A squared. And you see if we replace X by X and Y by X squared over Y, uh, Y squared by X to the fourth over Y squared, um, you can see how you can uh, manipulate this and get this. Okay, so that's uh, B following a circle. What if we do something different to B? Let's make it follow 
um, and let's let's get rid of these curves. And we'll get rid of the theta there and the A. Um, so one way of making it for an ellipse is to put an Archimedes trammel in place. Um, so we'll put B um, on that line there. And let's make, um, yeah, let's put this in a touch. Um, let's make the distance between B and D A and between B and E B. And we'll drive this whole thing by specifying the location of E. Uh, the parametric location on the axis. So we'll slide E backwards and forwards along the X axis. Um, this is what's going to happen. Oh, I uh, don't want to disappear. Um, so let's look at the curve um, traced by C as T varies. And so let's take that. Let's change the parameter of T. We got to 10, let's move it up to uh, A and B is going to add up to some let's move it up to 13. Um, and we can start at minus 13 and see if we can push that into the into the negative x direction. Ah, yes, we can. Uh, so here we have um, another kappa curve. Um, let's have a look at the equation. Of the curve and compare it with the equation of B, the curve traced by B. Um, there's that, that curve, of course, that is going to be an ellipse because this is a trammel uh, of Archimedes, which so draws ellipses. Um, And again, we see the straightforward relationship between K1 and K2, which we could derive um, using this uh, transformation here. Uh, we can see uh, how these um, differ in shape as we, as we change the relative size of A and B. And uh, we can stretch out uh, the ellipse and the kappa curve and so forth.